Welcome to Code Station 33. I'm your instructor, Mr. McLaughlin. We're continuing our conversation and introduction to programming about our Arduino systems. Let's take a look to see where we go from here. So last time we were talking about what is Arduino and we decided it was a, a microcontroller, but really what is a microcontroller? Well, a microcontroller is really a basic computer, a lot like your computer. It has many of the same parts, but a whole lot less power. It's got a processor, also known as a CPU. It has RAM memory. It has a kind of sort of hard drive. Um, we also often call this an SSD or a flash drive. And it does have hardware connections, including USB um, sometimes, but mainly through something called GPIO. The Arduinos uh, can run at different size, uh, different speeds. It depends upon the size and the um, CPU chip that is on them. But in reality, the slowest ones, the ones that we'll be using, run at 16 megahertz. Now, what is 16 megahertz? Well, that means 16 megahertz is the number of cycles that are performed in one second. So that is 16 million cycles performed in one second. Now that might sound like a huge, huge number, but there are bigger chips that work with these Arduinos that will do several hundred megahertz per cycle, uh, several hundred megahertz, um, that means cycles per second, million cycles per second. And your computer, well, your computer runs even faster, about one hundred times faster than 16 megahertz. And that's why we often talk about computers in gigahertz. So what can we do in each of these cycles? Well, it's a very simple instruction, like an addition or some type of comparison. We're not talking about a very complicated structure, but when you put all of those little instructions together, you can start doing some very complicated things. So in your computer, you can run things like operating systems and um, word processors. But in an Arduino, because we can run very um, a, a much fewer number of instructions per cycle, we need to make sure that we are running something a lot simpler. So on your Arduino, there's nothing other than code. There's no operating system. There's no Windows but we can still do a whole lot. And the beauty about these things is they don't require a whole lot of power. They really often only require a couple volts, like five volts of power that you can run with a couple double A batteries. So you can really get them to do a whole lot on just a, a little bit of power and they can just sit there and run. So our next step is to look a little bit more about what we are going to do with these microcontrollers. What does it look like when we start putting some code on them? Let's take a look. I'll see you next time.